So now we look at the special Pythagorean triplet. And a Pythagorean, so this is the problem right here, a Pythagorean triplet is a set of three natural numbers, um, A, B, and C. So the natural numbers are positive integers. And A is less than B and B is less than C, for which A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. So these are basic, A, B, and C are basically the sides of a right angle triangle. So for example, we could have three, four, and five, a being 3, B being 4, C being 5, and 3 squared plus 4 squared is 9 plus 16, which is equal to 25, and if we square root 25, you get back to 5 like this. So A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And we can visualize this in a right angle triangle like this. So if we have um, A, let's say that if the bottom side is A, so the bottom side is a short side, so we have A, B, and then we can see that we have right here 5, which is C right here. So what we have to do is basically say, um, the, the problem right here is there exists exactly one Pythagorean triplet for which a plus b plus c is equal to a thousand. Remember a, b, and c are sides of this a triangle, so a plus b plus c, which is the perimeter of the triangle, is equal to one thousand. And we have to return a, b, c, which I guess is double the area of the rectangle. I'm not sure why we return a, b, c in particular but that's all we're going to be doing. So let's set up the function right here. So what I'm going to do is I'll say let and then this right here and I'll say target value because we're just going to build a function where we can give it a thousand like this. And um, in terms of the result, what I'll say is something like console.log result is and we'll start it off with um, let's start it off with 24 right here. Okay, so now we are ready to get started. And the way we're basically going to go about this, this is the algorithm um, that I'm going to be using. And there are a lot of very good advanced ones probably, but the one I'm just going to be using is we're going to basically try every value of A and B together. And what we'll do is we'll do A squared plus B squared and square root that to work out C. And then if for one of those combinations, um, if we add C to A and B and it equals 1000 or our target value, we'll just return A times B times C. So the first thing I'm going to have is um, let A, so that's the length of side A, which is the bottom side right here, let B like this. And f the first thing I'm going to go through is go through the, all the values that A could be. So I'm going to say for A uh, equals 1, because remember A, B, and C are natural numbers, and you can't have a side of length 0. So A has to be a minimum of 1. A is less than, um, let's see, a is less than the target value, which is this right here. Because remember that the perimeter of the rectangle has to be equal to this target value. So these two sides have to be at least one in length. So A has the maximum value that A can be will be target value take away two. And in each iteration, we're going to increase the value of A. So this will go through all the values for A. And for each of those uh, values of A, we want to go through all the values of B. And so if we start off with B, the minimum value that B can be is, since we have the relationship right here that B is greater than A, B must be the bigger side of this uh, triangle right here. So B has to be at least A. So we can start B off at uh, A plus 1. Actually, B can't be at least A. B has to be bigger than A right here. And we want to move B till, um, let's see, the, the maximum value that B can be is also um, the target value, which is the perimeter, take away one, take away one, because all of these two sides have to be at least to be one. So we have to say target value, take away two. And in each iteration here as well, we're going to be increasing B. So we'll go through every value for A, and for each of those values for A, uh, a will go through every possible value of B like this. So now we're going to calculate C and the first thing we're going to calculate here is remember this is side C and we're going to calculate C squared because remember A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. So we can say let's uh, C squared equals and we can do math.pow um, remember this function takes in two arguments, it can take in a number and a power and it will ba basically just raise it to that power. So we can have math.pow 
uh, a to the power of 2 and math.pow and we can also square b right here this is c squared and what we can do here is say we can say um, we can also calculate c from this so we can say let's c equals um, math dot square root and this function basically just takes in a value and returns its square root so we want to just square root c squared this could have been done in one line actually I could have moved this into here but now we've calculated c so we've done a squared plus b squared and square rooted that to get back to c now uh, it says here that a b and c are natural numbers so we should only proceed if um, a is, if c is an integer because if c isn't an integer and we get a decimal value that's not a correct solution because we need um, all of these to be natural numbers so what we want to do here is say if and we can use the number dot is integer method and feed it c and it will return true or false based on whether c is an integer or not so we want that to be our first condition and uh, the second condition that we want was remember that um, the perimeter of the rectangle has to be equal to the perimeter of the triangle sorry has to be equal to the target value that we take in or 1000 for example or 24 and the, the way we can do that is a plus b plus c has to be equal to whatever that target value is so we want to also make sure that a plus b plus c is equal I'm gonna put these in brackets just to make it a bit more safe is equal to the target value so if those are the cases then we found our solution so basically we have an integer C and a plus B plus C um, is equal to the perimeter or the target value and we've verified a squared plus B squared is equal to C squared because that's how we calculated C so uh, we could have done this another way as well we could have done a target value takeaway um, take away b take away a and figure it out c that way and then try and square that and see if the a squared plus b squared equals c squared relation holds we could have been done either way but anyway we have our solution now so what we can say is we can say something like product equals a times b times c which is what we want to return and we can also do console.log um, and we could just log these values and um, just to make it a bit nicer so we can say a is a console.log um, b is b and console.log c is and then we can log c as well and finally what we want to do is we want to return the product because it says here right here that find the product a b c so we have to return product right here so that should be our function um, created now so let's test it out and we know that for 24 it should be 480 so let's try it um, dot slash uh, node demo dot js and we can see that we get back 480 and we should be able to create a triangle with 6 8 6 and 8 for a and b so let's try it so if we change that to 6 and we change that to 8 Yep, we can see that we also get back that C is supposed to be 10 and um, yeah, putting multiplying those to get together should be um, equal to 480 and A plus B plus C 6 plus 8 plus 10 is indeed equal to 24. So let's try it with uh, 120 and 120 can have a few possible values but we'll try it and see which one of ours comes up with. And ours is chosen to go with 49920, so we have A is 20 and B is 48. So I'm just going to put these in again, so 20 and 48. And um, we could have also had 55080 or 6000. What A and B were in those cases, I won't know. Um, Another one thing we could have done is basically created an array of all solutions and returned all of them But we just want to keep it simple and just return the product right here and um, Maybe I have to press enter here for this to actually generate it. Yep, there we go So we do have a triangle right here and those add up to um, 120 and the product of those is indeed uh, 49920 and the final one which is also the official problem right here is for 1000 
So let's input 1000 into here. And there is only one solution for 1000, and that should be uh, 3187 5000. So let's try it. And yeah, we can see that we have 3187 5000. And if you're interested in this, what this uh, rectangle, what this triangle looks like, we can enter in our A, B, and C values. And uh, well, we just need to enter in the A and B, and C will be calculated automatically. And yeah, that's what our uh, right angle triangle looks like. C is 425. And A squared, 200 squared plus 375 squared is uh, 425 squ squared. And these added together do equal 1000. And when you multiply them together, that's where we get this 3187 5000 value right here. So that's the one that we can submit because the official problem is asking for um, ABC. So we can submit that to be checked. And we can also submit our function. So let's just copy that out. Um, it might time out the test while it's checking, but um, we just have to be a little bit patient. Sometimes you can try again or something like that. Um, so let's try running these tests. Yeah. Doesn't seem to be working on this one. Um, Let's try refreshing this and having a look. We can see that we do have we do have the official problem solved right here because we have this green check mark. Um, not sure why it doesn't work on this. Um, hmm. Let's try and debug this. Ah, I think I know what's going on. It's because um, Free Code Camp uses strict JavaScript where uh, we can't just declare product like this. We have to say let product like this. If we run this again, yeah, we should see that it's passed. Again, it's just to do with declaring that variable, but we do have a working solution, and you can go ahead and submit that right there and move on to the next challenge.